Hello and welcome to our course tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to scrap products from AliExpress and get them into a CSV. CSV is a form of Excel file which separates the value using comma, which is plain text file. And when you open this in Excel, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheet, uh, it represents just like uh, data in the tabular form, just like the Excel file. So when we get the data from any platform into a CSV, then we can easily import them into our other stores just like WooCommerce, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, etc. So uh, one thing is scrapping data from those platforms and another thing is importing that data into your own website. So first of all, uh, I will show you how you can get the data from AliExpress using scrapping methods. The method I am using is called webscrapper.io. So currently this is my um, search which I want to get from AliExpress. Let's search for electronics. And here is my search. My website is based on WooCommerce which have all kinds of electronics added into it. Let me show you my shop page which have uh, different types of products in one place. Here are all the categories and these are the products which are categorized on the left sidebar. Okay, now let's go to AliExpress again. So for getting this data into a CSV, first we have to install a Google Chrome extension uh, because this scrapping method is based on Google Chrome. That is why you will need a Chrome browser for this and then go to extensions. And click on visit web, web scroll Chrome. Now search web scrapper.io and press enter. Here you will see add to chrome button and when you click that the scrapper will look something like this. So I already installed this uh, that is why this icon appears on my browser. When you install this and activate you will see this icon just close this and go to AliExpress website again where we search for electronics. Now right click anywhere on the page click on inspect element. In the first try, you may see this inspect element on the right side of the browser just like this. So here you cannot uh, work on web scrapper because this is a design for dock to bottom. So just click on these three dots, click on dock to bottom and go to web scrapper tab. Now here you will click on create new sitemap and click on create sitemap. Copy this URL which includes the search as well. You can also include some filters like style, like choice, like the price range or anything on the left sidebar. So once the products are filtered, you can copy that URL and add it here and give your sitemap a name. Let me name it AliExpress1. Create sitemap. After you create the sitemap, you will need the single links to be crawled on this page because there are multiple products and we want to crawl each of these products individually and get the title, description, price, images and other small details if you want. So we will first click on add new selector and type in the name as single or just link and choose the type from text to link. Click on multiple because there will be multiple products on this page. Scroll up to the top, click on select and choose two or three products and all these will be selected. Just click on done selecting and check data preview. And you can see we have multiple products links already there. 
Okay. After this, just click on save settings. Now we will need the data from each single individual product. So click here to get to add the selectors to the single um, so single selector and then open any product. The product is always open in a new tab. So you will have to copy that URL from here. Okay, that's not the product we want. Click on another product which have uh, the single product data. Okay, now copy this URL and come back to the tab where the web scrapper is open and paste that URL in the browser where you can see the single product data so we can select the title, image and price etc. Okay. Now click on add new selector as you can see the parent is now single. Uh, earlier it was root where we added single. Root was the URL that we added in the um, create sitemap process. Now if you click on single this is our root now and this is our single uh, page from where we will get the title. So click on add new selector type in the name which is title from uh, type is text and this is the title so we will select it click on select and it's not multiple it's just single title from this page and click on done selecting data preview and yes we have the title already click on save and on the same page we will get the price as well click on add new selector type in the name of this selector which is price select choose the price done selecting save it okay now we have to get the image and click on add new selector and type in the name image or images because uh, when we import something into woocommerce uh, that name of the uh, woocommerce selector is images so change the type from text to image, click on select and choose the frame and let's preview and check if the image is coming, yes image is coming, okay just save this selector. Now we have title, we have price, we have image, I misspelled the title, let's edit this. and save it again. Now scroll down if you want to get these meta data uh, like this color or variance then you can also do that uh, but I'll skip that for now and I'll just uh, jump to the description section okay which is this one. So let's click on add new selector type in the name description and the type is HTML this time because you can see we have some allies, ULs, we have some titles, we have some images. If you click on view more, you can see we have images within the description as well. So we will also need to get those images and titles, etc. Click on select and choose the parent of the description like this. And scroll down to check whether it ends with the description ends and yes it is just check the data preview oh sorry it's uh, click on done selecting to get the css selector here click on data preview and we have the description got into html format click on save selector now we have title, price, images and description. Let's see what else we can get if we have the category that would be better but we can use the main category which was electronics which was our main search. So in this table let's find no no view more GPS drone 
light original ah we have brand so we can use that as a category click on add new select selector name is categories and leave it as text click on select and choose the column okay this is this is not uh, what we want because this is using the category name as a category so we should cancel this and let's start scrapping this data just click here and click on scrap and click on start scrapping a new browser will be opened which will get each of these products individually it will crawl all these products one by one and get the, this uh, information the title images and description and prices and add it into a csv do not close this secondary browser unless it closes itself but i will close it because um, if after getting two or three products uh, we will have enough data to show you how you can import them into your woocommerce store so uh, we will save a lot of time because i i don't really need these products on my woocommerce store i i'm just uh, trying to show you how you can do this so uh, do not close this browser but let's see by clicking refresh how many products do we have we have just two products till now okay let's move to that browser again and wait until four to five products are there let's refresh it one two three four okay we have four products now just click here let me zoom in click here and click on export data there is one more thing i want to mention here if you click here and choose edit metadata then there is uh, the URL which you can change if you search for another category or another set of product and then you um, go to edit metadata and you add you change the URL to that category then the sitemap should be the same just the URL will be changed and you can get all those products from the, that category you can even add multiple categories like uh, here is the plus button if you click that you can add another search URL you can add third one you can add fourth one and so on and all these products can be uh, done within one go so let's leave that and let's click on sitemap and export data now here we have two types of data uh, to be saved click on dot csv and we will save it on desktop and the csv file we need to have is aliexpress 1.csv is fine because uh, i can easily recognize this file okay save it on your desktop now let's close that browser because it will slow down your pc while it's running but uh, you should not close this and uh, let it complete so that uh, all 40 to 45 products within that page uh, should be added to the csv okay now that we have that CSV on our desktop, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. Let me go to the products page. Now, once the product page is loaded, you can see that there is a button called import. If you click that import button, we can use the CSV which we just saved on our desktop. Uh, we can import that, we can upload that CSV to the importer and then i'll show you how you can map those products according to your woocommerce store so here just click on choose file and select that file which name was aliexpress this one open it and click on continue uh, do not check this one because this is uh, for if you want to change the prices of an existing um, product list then you must have the SKUs of the existing product and uh, the updated prices according to that so just 
choose the file click on continue and uh, you will see a mapper where you can map your existing uh, headers with the csv headers let it load on the mapper and from the start you can see that the title is already chosen by name these are the csv titles the csv headings which uh, which we got from aliexpress and these are the woocommerce headings uh, like title will go in the name field price will go in the regular price image src is not chosen uh, so we will choose images and description is already chosen as description and now just click on run importer it will take hardly a couple of minutes and it will add all these products including all the descriptions, images, titles, prices um, and add them to your WooCommerce store. Okay, the process is started already. Uh, we previously had 1651 products. Let's open that product page in a new tab so we can see how many products are added. Okay, this process is done already. We have 1656 products, which means uh, we added five more products. Okay, published 1010409, which is the server time. It's uh, 909 right now. And this is the server time. So these four products are added today 494949 five products so uh, this is how you can add uh, products uh, import products from uh, aliexpress into woocommerce i hope you learned something from today's video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you